Holy cow, there's it. See that white tip on your side? Here they come. Good group of 20. You want to see if they'll work? <laughs> yo, yo, yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one today, today, today. You guys have been requesting another pigeon hunt forever and believe me i've wanted to do it but if you guys have learned anything from my pigeon hunts i tell you all the time how far and few between they are they're not like dove you have to go scout them you got to find them you got to get permission on the field you know how it goes so yesterday i found a cornfield that has just been cut and the dove and the pigeons just found it now primarily why i'm going to this field is to hunt the pigeons there was only about probably 50 to 100 there yesterday that's why me and another guy are only going so a two-man hunt that's all we're doing today so yes as you can tell it is midday so we're doing an afternoon slash evening hunt right now it is right at two o'clock i'm waiting for my buddy cameron to get here but keep our fingers crossed fellas and gals that these birds come and they do it just like they did yesterday god dang it they did it so perfect Oh, but check it out. We got all the gun stickers back in stock. Yeah, my spray and pray is a little messed up because I got over a season on her. I just ordered a new one. I can't wait to get it on. When I get it on, I'm going to show you guys because it's hilarious. If you guys haven't checked out all of our new decals on the site, I'll link them all below. Go check out all of our new barrel stickers that we have. They are epic. But we're going to get to the field. I have a T-post blind to build up against some beans in this cut corn field. Uh, we got some work to do. So Oh boys, we just got sat down, just got the trucks out of the field, and we have a group of about 20 on the deck. Here we go. So we got our plugs in because we are going to be shooting dove as well. And look at these birds doing it. Get that whitey up there. You want to take him go? There he is. Go down. I nailed you. Oh. Well, I dusted that whitey. I don't know why you went didn't go down. Wow, these ounce and three eight shells are beasts. <laughs> Holy cow. There's it. See that white tip on your side? Here they come. Good group of 20. You want to see if they'll work? Oh, they went. Okay, let's. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Want these? Yep, go. Well, three. Drop three. Heck yeah. Oh, this is fun. Oh man. So these corn stalks are tall and they cast a lot of shadows and it's hard to find the birds. Let me tell you what, there's, nope, that's a corn stalk. Oh, right up front, right up front. Oh yeah, destroy these dudes. Go down, would you? Thank goodness. I'm not losing this darn bird. There he is. Hey there, bud. Hey there, bud. There we go. That was good shooting. They're doing it right. We got about a uh, 20 mile an hour wind. 17, 20 mile an hour wind coming right from behind us. And they're just sitting up beautiful. Right over the, right over both mojos. All I got is a dove mojo going and a duck mojo going. And they're loving it. Dude, they're hard to kill. Like they, they can take a shot. They can straight up take a shot. It sucks we can't run twos because we want to shoot doves. So three shots, not single, might circle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the single, that's okay. That's better than the group. Oh, he's going to do it hard. Look at him right here. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. You're doing a big old circle. Wow, he is sketch. Oof. Well, these birds just got a lot tougher for some reason. Oh, yeah. Come on. Lock him up. Put on the brakes. Here's this guy. Let's smoke him. Get up there and shoot that way. Smoke him. Yeah. Where's that other single at? Well, I didn't get it on camera, but first dove of the day. Oh, look at that white tip. Oh, boy. We got a white tip on the way, boys. Oh, yeah, they're going your way. Good deal. Good. Want to take the bottom one? Nice! 
Nice. Yay, yay, yay. I thought he wasn't going to die. You see where this one landed? Where are you at, boy? Uh-oh. I got pigeons. He dead. Go down, boy. Oh, goodness. I've ran too much trying to find these birds. Oh, I'm still stuck out here in the field. Two flying over here. Oh man, we've been out here searching for this guy forever. I mean, forever and ever. Finally. Here we go. Here's the, is it just a single? I think the other one's gone. Let's wad this, yeah, wad this bad boy up. Oh God, I'm stuck. <laughs> I was like, oh God, my, my gun's stuck. <laughs> Look at this one. What's this guy doing right here? <laughs> oh, is he? Here he comes. Yeah, go down. I'm out of shells. Well, we tried. We tried. Those are dove, huh? One pigeon up top. Yeah. Oh yeah, come on, oh yeah, oh yeah, come on. Got a single. Got a single. Oh goodness. <laughs> every yeah, hey, we don't have to find that guy now. I always I've been snaking you like every shot pulling before. I'm like, I'll be the backup this time. Well, he didn't fall far. Make sure he ain't banded. No band. That's a good old shooter. Man, singles are the, that's the way to do it. If it's just singles and doubles do it. Yeah. I wish I would have had the big camera for that one. Well, another one on the board. Oh, we got some dove boys. Are they, oh yeah. Oh, did I bust you? No, you're good. Okay. Well, them two. Like white ones. Yeah. Got two dove down. Have not been shooting the dove very much. Finally making it happen. Finally flying. It took him forever to start flying. Oh yeah, we got a single coming right at us, boys. Look at him, just barely, barely beating the wing. Come on, swing over. There we go. Perfect. On your side. He's still coming. Uh oh. Oh no! No! Why'd that happen? Uh, that was probably the easiest shot all day, and I missed that sucker big time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, two duck. Get him. Oh. Oh, he down. I got a beat on him. Well, we got both of them bad boys down. Run down a row and then spill in. I, can't, I won't lose him. A lot farther. Straight a lot farther. Right a little bit, come over like two foot. Now go straight out where like you were. Left, right there, right in front of you. That's exactly where he's at. Should be in a circle, right? Oh! <laughs> well, found him. Oh, well, that's gonna do it. It's uh, 645. Probably dragged the hunt out longer than we should have, but We've been having fun shooting the dove here and there and just gabbing. You know how it is when you and your buddies get out in the field, when the season starts rolling back around, if it's dove, if it's ducks, if it's pigeons, it just feels good getting back on a good old cut cornfield, baby. I'm telling you what, once that corn gets cut, Bobby's blood pressure starts to rise and I start getting excited. But a little rundown of the hunt while I'm walking to the truck, try to give you guys a little bit of helpful information about what happened. So when we got sat down, we literally got sat down just in time 
to have the first group of three or four just rolling four foot over the field coming right to us. The first like, you know, five, six groups of singles and even big groups did it really well. They were having to fight a wind, get into them mojos, so they did it really good. They were low. Man, it seems like after those first four or five groups, everything that was going back and forth just wouldn't give us a look. It wouldn't turn into the decoy. It just shied away on the sides. It stayed more than 50 yards to each side of us. We just didn't have a shot on a lot of singles and doubles. So I think what happened is that one, one reason why there's only two of us here is, is because I knew that there wasn't very many birds. So I think once we shot at those five first groups, that was really the body of the whole birds. So whatever they did afterwards, any birds that hadn't seen our decoys just followed them. So it's just like ducks and geese. If them front birds don't like your spread, the back ones are, are just gonna follow them. They're not, they're not gonna decoy. Sometimes you can peel some singles and doubles off, but long story short, just not a lot of birds on this here hunt, on this that we're feeding here, you know? But I think we did pretty decent considering the fact. Well, there we go. 12 pigeons and a handful of dove. Not a bad little shoot. Cameron, thank you for coming, buddy. Thank you for having me. If you haven't followed Cameron on Instagram, he's a guide here in Kansas. He guides ducks, specks, snows, anything you want to do. A lot of field hunting going on out here. So we're doing a little deal. If you want to hunt with me and Cameron both, he said, hey, come book with him and I'll be there. So get a hold of him on Instagram. Shoot him a message. Say, hey, I want to come to Kansas and I want a snow goose hunt or I want a lesser hunt or I want a speck hunt. Anything that you guys want to do, let him know. But if you like this video, drop me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell right there so you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.